Today's video is sponsored by Delta Exchange. Delta is a derivatives exchange and offers perpetual swaps and futures on Bitcoin and Bitcoin to altcoin pairs. They are a team of Wall Street veterans who have built a solid platform with interesting features such as bracket orders. Delta often rolls out interesting offers for traders. Currently, they are running a trading competition where the prices are up to 25 Bitcoin. So do check out Delta Exchange. The website is delta.exchange. You can sign up by using my referral link in the description below. The budget just got passed a couple of days ago. So why don't you give us uh, your views on the budget and what you think of it? Is it like, you know, is there anything good we can take from the budget this year? Oh, yeah. Uh, I saw the whole budget speech and uh, my first impression was that the speech was very boring. And uh, there was nothing uh, of any interest to anyone. And obviously expecting anything from government's budget is uh, too much. You know, people don't understand that budget is nothing but uh, income, as I told you in my last uh, interview also, that income is nothing but loot. So it's just a uh, account of income and expenditure of the government. Actually, the major policy announcement did take place in between. So, and this was also a proposed budget. But anyway, people were expecting so many things from this budget because, you know, economy is, you know, into gutter and uh, GDP growth rate has come down significantly to 4.5. Inflation is very high at 7.35%, the CPI retail inflation. So we are in a kind of a stagflationary problem right now. So expectation from the industry, from the you know common people was very high. One big you know expectation was uh, building up was that uh, Cesar Ramon did announce some kind of major uh, rate cuts in income tax plan. Uh, that did happen. But actually, you know, they made it more complicated than making it simplified. Uh, and ironically, they called it simplified tax regime. So now they have two slabs, I mean, two schemes. Uh, if, if, I, if you put it into our language, then uh, now we have to decide, you know, in which way the government is going to loot us. So if you prefer the first uh, way, then you are going to pay some 20% over your 5 lakh income and you will have some exemptions. If you prefer the second uh, scheme, then you have from 5 to 7.5 lakh, some 10%, but then you have to let go of the exemptions. So, you know, our all loads, the state, you know, officials are really kind enough and they're giving us uh, at least some choice in how they want to move us so we can decide. But anyway, ultimately, uh, budget was very disappointing because there are nothing but tax, 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 and tax, and more tax. And Nirvala uh, Sitaraman is, you know, saying that. Uh, like the past governments of UPA, Manmohan Singh government, we are not going to splurge on uh, spending, but they are splurging on spending. So they're going to spend something like one, uh, 105 trillion rupees on infrastructure projects, what they call pipeline projects. Already, as I told you, the National Hydro Authority of India is into debt of something like 90,000 crore rupees. And uh, the PAO itself advised the NHI to stop building highways. So I don't know where they're going to build all these you know, highways and where they're going to spend all this money. So $105 trillion uh, rupee uh, spending is uh, nothing but splurging. And then as uh, the days are going by, one after the other things are coming up. Like for example, a couple of days ago, I came to know that now, even on mutual fund income, people will have to pay 10% taxes. They increase uh, import duties on uh, furniture, electronic items, etc. Et so. Uh, companies like IKEA will be in trouble. Uh, other people like solar industries in trouble because they are complaining. So on one side, the government wants us to go to go for alternative energy sources, solar power, and on the other side, they are taxing those industries also. So I mean, do they really think that people are that stupid that they are going to you know understand all this? I mean, they are going to you know do all these things that. For example, what the Modi government is doing is they are not giving us any choice. So on one side, they will say that. Okay, we are going to remove petrol and diesel vehicles from the roads now. Uh, you only have to buy electric vehicle. And then what they will do, they will you know, impose some kind of heavy tax on buying an electric vehicle. This they are doing because the revenue is falling. For the first time, the uh, direct tax collection has fallen down. Uh, the GST is consistently below 1 lakh per rupees collection. So they need to spend money uh, because they win elections by spending money. They win votes by doing that. So in the budget, nothing is there. Now they would tax the provident fund and NBS accounts also, the national pension scheme accounts also. Now I'm hearing that provident fund interest rates, PPF interest rates are also going to come down. So the overall impact is the saving is going to go down. Government is just going to spend more. 
and ultimately i was uh, just today morning i was reading that the uh, cbdt the central uh, taxation body they are going to very closely monitor all the uh, major big transactions that they were going to do we are going to ultimately i guess in future even if we are going to buy peanuts uh, the government will give us a call the tax department that hey you bought some peanuts you know two days ago and give us the account from where did you get the money so budget was overall disappointment and uh, on the same day stock market also fell so they removed some dividend taxation but then they again imposed the tax on the people who are going to get dividends so ultimately that makes things very complicated income tax is going to become very complicated because uh, if you go for a new scheme or the old scheme people don't understand all the issues they will have to actually go and give money to now chartered accountants and tax you know uh, advisors so this is more headache nothing more than that and most of the speech was they included some nationalistic jingo also into that by you know reciting some kind of poems from uh, kashmir and tiruvallur will always come into nirmala sitaraman's speech i mean uh, when i was watching the speech live uh, on whatsapp university memes were circling that nirmala sitaraman is wearing a yago sari she looks like a goddess lakshmi I mean, come on, Goddess Lakshmi will come to give you money, not to root you. So overall, uh, the budget is, uh, as usual, a disappointment, and this is not going to fix any problem. Actually, this is going to make our you know lives more and more worse. It seems like the overall theme of the budget is that the government is losing tax money. Like you said, even the Central Board of Direct Taxes for the first year, I think. they're collecting less taxes so now they are basically trying to strangle the sheep like the, the the sheep that they control in the country and trying to extract as much money as them as possible i i saw a couple of posts of yours as well on facebook you shared uh, investor jim rogers he went on arnab goswami show and he, <laughs> that was a big disappointment for him as well uh so what would your suggestions be as an economist uh, you know for to the government if you were sitting and advising the government regarding this budget what would be the immediate things you tell them to do to fix this i will tell them to tighten the belt first uh, because the problem that you know indian economy is having is this big government they are interfering into every nook and cranny their spending is huge you know this kind of government is our problem the central planning that is going on since last 70 71 years is our problem so my first advice to government will be to tighten the belt means reduce the expenditure instead of that what they are trying to do is they are trying to increase their income somehow not reducing the expenditure and in trying to do that they are just you know ending up with nothing because they don't understand the simple you know concept that you know everybody studies in a you know introductory public finance course that there is a thing called uh, Lefer curve. So Lefer curve is a concept which tells us that whenever government increases the tax rates to increase revenue, instead of revenue going up, actually the revenue collection comes down. Because the first canon of taxation is that tax must be uh, simple and it must be low as much as an up. And none of that things are being followed by the Indian government. So my first, uh, you know, advice to the Indian government is to reduce expenditure drastically. stop wasting the resources of this country just reduce the size i mean cut down all the department just shut down for example shut down the education department for example like it's complete waste of money and everything uh, even if you go to you know if you know maybe your audience will get shocked if i say that we don't require the state but that's the reality so ultimately the size of the government must come down to zero but until and unless we reach that stage we must roll back the government the size of the government is very big into this country so they must stop interfering into the market they should allow the market to you know work on its own and market will take care as we will discuss in the further segments of your you know program today so they must cut the expenditure first thing they should do very quickly is balance the budget you know indian government they never balance the budget that was a complaint of jib rogers also that your government is always piling up more and more debt and that's the problem so reduce the debt bring it down to zero balance the budget and then start to reduce expenditure and then you don't have to collect a lot of taxes you don't have to interfere into people's lives and people know better how to spend their money instead of the government so that would be my first advice to the uh, modi government or whoever is coming to power is to make the size of the government as small as possible ultimately zero 
and yeah obviously they're not going to hire you because like why will a government hire you if you're going to tell them that they need to become smaller i mean like they're an they're an authority so they obviously want to keep expanding and growing and this is one of the problems i see with people wanting limited government as well is because once you have a limited government there's little you can do to actually keep it limited it's going to expand as we've seen with multiple examples like america and most of the states in the world they all started out as small limited governments but it's in the nature of power and authority to want to grow and expand and strangle the lives of the citizens this budget also made me laugh a lot because uh, you know these nris abroad they tend to cheer for modi oh. and you know, oh, they're yeah. all happy and stuff but now they've basically increased the amount of days that uh, the nris have to spend abroad so that they won't be taxed and if they don't like it's gone up from 182 days to 250 days so if people living abroad basically stay there for less than 250 days now they're going to get taxed on the global income by the indian government so i th- i think that's going to help bring a lot of that pro modi sentiment down from a lot of these nris don't you think well i i i don't know you on whether that will bring down the pro modi sentiment because you know indians are very irrational people so they may not be able to connect the dots here uh because uh, people don't have moral standards over here so they don't think from the right and wrong perspective uh what they think from is cost benefit utility perspective so as long as uh, they think that they are slightly better off they are not going to oppose the government because they have wasted interest in doing that they have invested uh, psychologically a lot into this government and uh, once you are psychologically invested it is very difficult to get out yeah so they and may I, remain invested even if it is a losing enterprise for them and i think that's the point that viewers can take from this whole uh, exchange that we are on the budget is the government's not going to reduce itself on its own we need to put pressure and eventually take action in our own lives that will automatically bring help to bring the size of the government down right it, yeah as i said in my last uh, program interview with you also that the battle is not between congress or bjp or hindu or muslim or dalit or non dalit or brahman whatever or pakistani or indians or bangladeshi the, the real battle is between government versus people so as long as the indian voters are not going to realize this battle this nature of this battle nothing is going to change for better because no matter whose government is going to come into power if that government is going to be big and they are going to interfere in the market like anything then situation will remain the same and it will just become worse and worse as the time goes by so what you know people need to you know do is as you very rightly say we need to pressurize the government to spend less and you know reduce its size no matter whose government is coming into power whether that is kejriwal or narendra modi or amit shah or rahul gandhi or mamta banerjee it just doesn't really matter what matters is the um, nature of the government and that's the real problem yes our enemy is the state not the left yeah. or the right 